Hello everyone, this is Easy Korean. Today we will be learning Hangul. Hangul means Korean alphabet. We have a goal for this class. Yes, we do. So after you finish watching this, you will be able to read and write in Korean for sure. That's why I put five stars because I'm very certain. So please follow along. When it comes to learning a new language, I'd like to highly recommend instead of trying to understand it, try to absorb it. Now, what does it mean? Absorb it like a sponge. When, remember the first time when you actually started learning your mother tongue, right? Did you like study grammar and spend hours trying to find the reason why this is, you know, put that way or how it's said or why it's said like this? Hmm, most likely not. Why? We just picked it up, right? We absorbed it. Hmm, I think this is how we should approach when we learn a new language. You gotta expose yourself as much as you can, listen, try to repeat, and just absorb it. All right, so don't try to understand it while you're watching this video. Try to absorb it. All right. First, we're gonna look at uh, Hangul, the language itself, right? Who, when, how, how was this created, or you know, how was it formed? Hmm. This picture right here I have is, it's a king. His name is Sejong, all right? We call him Sejong Daewang in Korea. He's not only a king during the Chosen Dynasty in the 1400s, long ago, but he was also a great scholar as well as a long respected leader. Long time ago, Written Chinese called Hanja was used back then. Learning how to read or write, Hanja was unavailable for those in lower class, meaning that only those privileged were taught. I know how unfair, right? Imagine your life not being able to read or write. What would it be like? I've given a thought and the only word I could think about was oh, how terrible. <laughs> yeah, it, it'd be really terrible. King Sejong addresses this problem and begins his journey of creating and developing the Korean alphabet called Hangul. Mm. I personally think this is a beautiful gift that King Sejong the Great has left behind. He really wanted everyone and anyone to improve their literacy so that their lives can change for the better. Every year on October 9th, we celebrate Hangul Day to commemorate King Sejong's invention of Hangul, a beautiful asset that a king bestowed upon his nation. All right, so this is Hangul, guys. Hmm. It consists of 14 consonants and 10 vowels. Now, the consonant and the vowel itself, when they're just alone, they're just consonants and vowels. What you gotta do is combine the consonant and the vowel in order to form a letter. Mm. And it's usually either one of the two, mostly. So you have a consonant and then you put a vowel together and this becomes a certain letter. Or you have a consonant, vowel, and another consonant underneath. So you'd have two consonants and a vowel, and this would form another letter, all right? So I'm going to sing this for you, all right? I'm not a great singer, but uh, try to remember and memorize and absorb the consonants and the vowels. So we will be looking into these one by one in detail um, right after, but try to have the big picture of the consonants and the vowels first. All right, so let's begin from here, okay? This thing over here, mm -hmm. it's got the ka, okay? Ka sound. 
カナタラマバサアジャチャカタパハ I've come all the way until here I shall sing it one more time カナタラマバサアジャチャカタパハ One more time カナタラマバサアジャチャカタパハ Mm, it's got the ABC song, right?、Mm. Now we'll be looking at the ten vowels. From here, we shall be going. I'm not sure if this melody works for everyone. I just, I just kind of. Remixed it and made it up. I hope it's okay for you guys.、Mm. So now that we have put this in a big picture, we will be looking at them one by one. Let's begin. First, we have guk sound. Now, all of these consonants have a name, okay? And this one has the name called kiyo, okay? It's got the guk sound. Kiyo. Go right, go down, go right, go down, go right, go down. Kiyok, 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 kiyok.、Mm. Next one. This has the n n n sound and it's called n i u n Okay? n i u n n i u n n i u n n i u n n i u n Ni un, ni un, ni un, ni un, ni un. All right. Next up, we have d d sound, and this is called t k u d So, this is the order how you should write it right, down, right, right, down, right. t k u d t k u d t k u d t k u d t k u d Ti good, ti good, ti good, ti good. Next up, we have r r. Now, this I think is super cute. So, look right, down, left, down, right. Right, down, left, down, right. This is called r i r. r i r. r i r. Right, down, left, down, right. Right down, left 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 down, right. r i e r So cute! Next, we have a box looking thing and it's called m i u m Alright? m i u m m i u m It's got the m u m sound. m i u m m i u m m i u m Me, um, me, um, me, um, me, um, me, um, me, um, me, um. All right. Next, we have b u b which is called p u p Okay, so how can I write this? This is how I write it down, right. Down right. Down right, down right. Down right, down right. Down right, down right. p e e p p e e p p e e p p e e p p e e p p e e p p e e p Next, we have s s sound. This is called s h e o t s h e o t She ot, 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 she ot. Very good. Next, we have e um. Now, do you see how it's written silent?、Mm. When it actually comes together, it's got that, um, how do I say? It's like, Like an energizer, you know? It's, it's kind of silent, but it's got a lot of energy. <laughs> we'll find out later. But first, we will write it down. It's super cute. It's iyun. We've got a bunch of all these iyun and almost 
many of the Korean letters that you find, right? And I'm sure this reminds you of the Squid Game too, right? So remember this, guys? The Squid Game? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eww, 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 eww. That was fun. Next up, we have Jujo Chi Ut. Okay, so this is how you would write it. Write down, down. Write down, down. Chi Ut. 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 Now, from here, if you add a hat, it becomes the ch ch chi ut. Mm. Hat, right down down. Hat, right down down. Chi ut, 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 chi ut. Chi ut, chi ut. Hmm, very cute. Next, we've got the k k. Ki ut, k k k. Now, if you you know you were texting a friend and it's you know something's funny, you can just send it like this. K k k k. You know how when we text friends and we go like ha 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 or lol or r o f l, right? Roll on the floor laughing. <laughs> yes, this is how we say it. K -k -k -k. You can put as many as you want. Okay? Remember the kuku, kiyok, and then you put the strike through right here. Right? Kiyok, 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 kiyok. Now, this seems as if I've laughed too much, right? RFL right now. Yes. So, it's got the k k sound. Next up, we have t u t. So, remember the t u t, right? It goes like right, down, right. I'm gonna put another strike through, this line through here, which now is called t u t, and it sounds like t. t u t. I know you're thinking, oh, this looks like alphabet, you know, big letter E. Forget it. Absorb this the way it is right now, okay? Otherwise, you'll be more confused. All right, very good. Next up is p p p u. It's so cute. Right down down right p u. 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 p u. p u. p u. p u. P up, P up, P up, P up. Very good. Last consonant of the fourteen is we have h h sound, mm. and it's called he up. Now, it's got a hat, and then you've got a circle. Hmm, a person with a hat, right? Um. So people write it in different forms. So some people write it like this, or some write it like this, or they can just write it like this. Mm, up to you. You can stick the circle. You can. You don't have to stick the circle. Mm. But for me, this is how I usually write it. I kind of like tilt it and then stick this, the hat, and then kind of like just like kind of not stick the circle. <laughs> yes, doesn't really matter, guys. So I'm just gonna write how I usually write it. Okay. He ut, he ut, he ut, he ut, 
ひうっひうっひうっひうっひうっ Hmm. So if you guys read this, it kind of seems as if I've written a lot of hoo 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 like when someone's laughing, right? It's either k or hoo hoo hoo. Yeah. Okay, so we've seen and learned the 14 consonants. Very good. Now we shall be moving over to the 10 vowels. Alright? So, first vowel that we have is it's got the a a sound. A a. Remember? Korean con con consists of consonant and a vowel together in order to form a letter. Okay, so we're just learning the vowels right now. A ah, a ah. 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 a ah. Now, if you put another stick together, it becomes the ya. Ya sound, right? It's so funny looking. Look, stick right, right, stick right, right, stick right, right, stick right, right. Ya, 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 ya. Hmm. Next up, we've got the aw. This is. It looks opposite from a, right? Stick first and then go right. I mean down. Stick and then down. All, 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 all. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have yaw. Yaw, 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 yaw. O, 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 Yo, yo, yo. O, 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 o. It kind of looks like as if it's kind of crying, right? So this is you can use it as an emoji. Also, this one, it's got the U sound. U. Yes, it looks as if it's even crying more. U. 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 It's got the U sound. And then. It's got the oo, 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 oo. Last of the ten vowels, e, 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 e. Hmm. This was super easy, right? So, we're going to practice. Now, I will be writing a letter and combine it and make it into a word. So, let's see if you can read it. Okay? So, what is this? She, right? S, s. And then I'm gonna put the vowel together. Ah. Oh. Now, when you read it, it sounds like. Ha. Do you see? Okay. Next, I'm going to write j j j o t j and then another a. Ah. So this would read like sa sa. It means lion. <laughs> First Korean word, right? Sa sa 
사자 next word 이음 right and then I'm just gonna put the 우 so this sounds like 우 okay another 이음 and then 유 since this is silent itself so oh sorry this should be just 유우유우유 This word means milk. 음차차우유오 Do you guys see this magic? You're learning. 음 Next, we are going to learn double consonants. You must be like. Why? Where did this come from? Mm. So, double consonants. Um, we have like this. Um, there are some of the consonants that you just put double, and it makes another sound, somewhat closer to the one that we learned before. So, I'm just gonna erase off those that are not double consonants from here. So, just carefully watch. Those left behind shall be the double consonants. Ta-da! One, two, three, four, five. We are left with five double consonants. So let me show you how they look. First one. We have is g, sang, k y o So you remember k y o right? It goes like this, right? You just put another one, and this makes a whole new sound, g, g. Okay. Um, I am going to write a word using this double consonant. Okay. Um, what shall I write? So okay, sang, k y o Sang means double. Okay. I'm gonna put a a. All, and then I'm going to put m m m. Now this word you read it as gum, 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 which actually is gum, right? The bubble gum that we know, gum. Okay. Next double consonant. Using the d d t g u t you put double, and it's got the d d m d d. One more time. Double t g u t and you have the d. Now I'm going to write a word, a single letter word. Sang t g u t d. Ah, uh, and then remember this one, guys, the cutie pie, rock, rock, r e a l When you read this now, it reads, d a l So, d a l d a l d a l This word itself means daughter. Daughter. Daughter, dal, dal. Hmm. Next up, we have sang, p u. Okay, p u. Remember, guys, down, right, down, right, down, right, down, right. Now this makes the sound, b, b, b. Down, right. Down right, down right, down right. Now you have the double consonant for b. Let me write a word. B. A. Um. Remember this. Bang. 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 This word means. Bread. So cute, right? Bread. Bang. Bang. 
Hmm. Next up, we have sang siut. Okay, siut. You write it like this, and you write another one like this. Kind of looks like a double mountain, right? Sang siut, siut, siut. Goes like this. It's called the s s sound. Let me write a word. Sang siut a n. Uh, never mind. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna change it. Ah, uh, r. Hmm. This has got the r sound, right? So, s. We've got the vowel ah, uh, r r. It's got the r l r l r l sound. So this sound it makes the sound sal, sal, sal. It means rice. Right, rice, sal, sal. Last of the double consonants. Okay, remember chiut, guys. Chiut, j j. I'm gonna write double. Okay, write down, down, write down, down. Therefore, now it sounds like j j. Sound chiut. Now it's got the j. Write down, down, write down, down. J. Let me write a word. Sang j j a n jang jang. Okay, this is how it sounds. Jang. What does it mean? Jang means you're awesome. Jang. Awesome. Remember when we when we give thumbs up? Hmm. Zhang. Hmm. No, Zhang ya means you're awesome. Hmm. So we're done with the double consonants, guys. Super duper easy peasy, right? So we've got the g, d, b, s, j. Okay. Now about the vowels. We now have something called the combined. Vowels. Oh, what does that mean? <laughs> this is it, guys. After we learn the combined vowels, this is it. So the combined vowels consist of like mixture of this and that. Hence the word combined, right? So I'm just gonna erase the ones that are not included for the combined vowels criteria. So we just gotta take out the um, this one and. This one. Mm. So what's left of these? We will be combining them together. All right. So, do you guys see the yellow highlights? Hmm. Let me just write it here. Ah, uh, and then you combine the e together. It's going to make the a sound. A. Do you see the green over here? Hmm. Here. A. This is the new first combined vowel that we learned. A. Ah, uh, e. Now it sounds a, a, a. Next, I'm going to combine ya and e. Ya, e, ye, ye, ya, e. It sounds like ye, ye, ye. O e, and it sounds a. O e a. O e a. O e a sound. O e a. Ye. Yo e ye. 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 Yeah. Wa, u, a. When you combine it, it sounds wa. 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 Notice I'm sticking the vowels together, like here. U, a. Right? It's all stuck together. Uh, it doesn't matter if you don't stick it. it doesn't matter. Wa. Wa. 
way. Oh, do you see the a? It's like one vowel, another vowel, another one. How cool is that, right? Way. 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 It sounds almost similar. Okay. O e way. 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 Wo. O a wo. 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 Way. Here we have three vowels combined, right? O, o, e, we. O, o, e, we. 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 Hmm. We. O, e, we. 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 All right. So, guys, we have learned the double consonants and the combined vowels. Hmm. Oops. Sorry. We have another one. Ui. Ui. Last one. Ui. 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 Hmm. You don't have to stick if you don't want to. Ui. Okay. Ui. I believe this is the last of the combined vowels. Hmm. Now, this time, we're going to try to read this. Remember, we saw this slide in the very beginning of the video? Hmm. So this time, we'll try to read it. Okay, so remember, this is the, right? He, uh, right? And then, ah, uh, n, han. The combined vowel se se ju ju o ng. It's got the silent one, right? Chung chung chung. Oh, there we have it. Se chung, right? This king's name. Se chung. Now, what's the next one? D, 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 good. A, E, combined vowel, right? A, E. So now this sounds A. A, E, A, E, A, right? So, A, T, T, D, E, E, T. Next, we have, O, this is the silent one. word itself right right over here this word itself it means king mm. so now we have it sejong daewang sejong is his name right Te. this word itself means great wang means king so sejong daewang it means sejong king the great this is how we call him sejong daewang Next, last word. Now, this is, I'm sure it's easy because we learned it, right? Han. Good. 
n n n n n n a l n a l m h m What do I do here? Hangul n a l Hangul n a l n a l means a day. So it means Korean day, right? Hangul day. The day when we celebrate the great King Sejong's invention of the Hangul itself. So it's a very special day. Mm. Yes. So these are what we have learned so far. 14 consonants and 10 vowels. So take a capture of this, guys. Mm -hmm. And please try to practice. For practice makes it perfect. And we also have the double consonants and the combined vowels. Mm. It's okay if you are feeling like, oh, this is really hard. It's okay. Try your best to practice and absorb yourself by listening to this again. And practice makes perfect. I've said it right before, but it is. It's true. Mm. Absorb. All right. So that's it for today, guys. This was Easy Korean. I shall write a word in Korean. Let's see if you can try to read along. Okay? 기억 가 가음 감 잠깐 감 시옷 아사사 감사 흐흐 히읗 아뿌뿌 감사합 느느니 and then the 드드 디귿 아오 very easy right 감사합니다 this means thank you thank you for watching see you in the next video guys goodbye